Well, today I'm putting back on my teacher hat and I want to talk to you guys some more about note-taking pages. And I got a question from a subscriber who was saying that they loved my ideas for note-taking, but they have to print them out in an A4 format. Uh, and they were wondering if I could give them some help with how to make that happen. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So stay with me if printing out notes is something that you're interested in. Well, hi everyone. I am Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today we are going back to school. We are talking about note taking. It could be for high school students, uh, college students, grad students, uh, anybody who's just taking a class, uh, or anybody who just likes to learn new things and likes to be able to print things from OneNote uh, onto paper and keep in a notebook for themselves. Okay, so let's get started. Our question was about printing an A4 size. And what you see here on my screen is a notes page that I created as a template for myself. I want to start at the very beginning and show you how to do all of this. So I'm gonna go up here to add a new page. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to look at my page size, okay? So when I look here, uh, again, under my view menu, under paper size, if I click uh, the uh, paper size, it comes up on the side and asks me what size I would like uh, to use, okay? So when it says size there, you see there's a little drop down menu. And when I drop down that menu, you see all of these choices that I have. Um, and this particular person wanted to print in A4 size. Um, you know, here in the United States, our standard printer paper is letter size. Um, but for purposes of this video to answer this question, I am going to choose A4 size. A4 size is a little bit narrower than our eight and a half by 11 and a little bit longer than our eight and a half by 11. So you can see here on my screen that it has resized this page for that A4 size. Okay. If I go back up to size, and click letter, you can see that it changes it just a little bit. Let's do one more so that you see the difference. Let's go down to what a B5 looks like. B5 is much smaller, okay? Okay, so back to A4, and now we have our page size, okay? I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here. And when that new page comes up, you see that it comes in to this section. This is a templated page that I have already made. Okay. Very simple. Uh, I'm going to show you how I did it. So the first thing that I did is I went up to, um, view and under view, we're going to go down to ruled lines. And I chose this first one here, which is narrow lines. So you see that gives me that if I want to make the lines thicker, I can very thick or enormously thick. I can also add grid lines of various sizes as well. Okay. All right. But I like the thin lines for this example, because this may be something that I use on my iPad and my handwriting will be nice and small on this small lined paper. Okay. Then all I did here is I added a text box and I put the name of my class that I'm taking chemical engineering for the fall semester. Uh, and it's with professor boom, which sounds good to me. And we meet in building C in room three, four, five. Okay. All right. Uh, this section up here, the title of the page will be for my notes for that particular day. And then I just drew a line here to separate the heading of my paper from the body of my paper. Okay. Now to save this as a page template, what I did is I went up to, uh, insert and I went over to page templates, page templates at the bottom and save page as a current template. When I did that, it comes up and asks for a name and I already gave it a name. Uh, I gave it the name chemical engineering. Uh, and it says, do you want to set this template as the default one for any new page in this section? I can say yes or no. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to save. All right. In this case, I'm going to cancel because I already did that in setting this up for you. 
Okay. All right. So now we have our new page template and you can see here that it is set to a four size. So at some point the page ends and you see all of this gray space out here. So there's two things that I want to talk to you about today. One is the page size and the second one is using dictation. Okay. Let's say that I am sitting in my dorm room or in my, you know, study area and I want to take some notes, but, uh, I don't want to type, uh, all of my notes. I can use the dictate feature so I can go up here to the, um, search bar and I can type dictate and office dictation will come up. When it comes up, it automatically starts recording what I am saying, what I am saying, and it types it across the screen for you. When I pause, it puts punctuation there. And so for me, if I'm reading in my textbook and I'm highlighting and I want to then have written notes for that as well, dictation is a very easy way to get that done. When you want to stop dictating, you simply click on the microphone icon and it goes white and you're ready to start dictating again whenever you're ready. So let's say you read the next section and then you want to take notes on that. You know, chemical reactions between baking soda and, you know, uh, vinegar occur because of, you know, whatever the chemical reaction is. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about today. <laughs> All right. So now I have enough information there just to show you, you know, kind of what I'm talking about with page size. Okay. So I think dictation can be very helpful for today's purposes. Rather than, uh, dictate pages and pages of notes, I am simply going to copy the section that we did and I'm going to hit enter and I am going to paste that again so that you can see it going down and we're going to fill up this page with notes. Okay. And I can see that I am getting close to the bottom of my page, but look what happens when I keep going off of that page. I'm just going to add the same notes over and over again, a few more times to let you see how much information we really have. Okay. Now we know that the page is set narrow enough for the A4 size that needs to be printed. Okay. So if I were to say that these notes were on chemical reactions, that was my title for today. Um, I can then go and try and print my notes once I get back to my study place or my dorm or the library or wherever. Okay. So I can go over here to file and I can go to print, print preview and print preview will come up and it will show me the current page. Okay. And it will tell me with this green arrow down here that the current page has been split onto four printed pages. All right. And I can go through and look at each of those printed pages to see how they are going to look. Okay. I can also uh, change the page size here if I want to, if I want to go to letter size, if I'm in the United States and that's my preferred size, that's fine. Um, what would happen if I went to something really small, like a five? Okay. It looks like it's going to print that as well. Uh, we'll have to see how that works out, but for today's purposes, let's stick with a four. Cause that's, you know, what we're supposed to be learning about. And we're going to stick with our orientation as being portrait. You can change your orientation to landscape if you want. Uh, and then you see here that we now have five pages of notes. Okay. So let's go back to portrait. And now we have back to our four pages of notes. Okay. So from here, I can simply go down and hit, um, the print button and everything will print out on my printer, just as you see it here on the screen. Another important feature that I think is they have a uh, page numbering automatically set so that it will start numbering with page one and then go through page four. Okay. So that, you know, all of those pages go together. Okay. So very easy. Uh, and then let's say you get that printed and everything looks good. You go ahead and put it in your notebook, but you are bothered by the fact that all of this is gray space and you don't really like that. Okay. What you can do is you can go back. Let's close our templates. You can go back to view 
you can go back to paper size and you can go back and set it for auto and then you see now you have your unlimited infinite space that you have uh, on regular OneNote pages okay so either way it works however you want to store them but go ahead going ahead and setting it for a4 helps you narrow uh, you know the page information that you're printing so I think that's great well, I hope that helps today. Uh, you know, it's always fun to learn new things and to be challenged by these questions. So, you know, if you have a question, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it for you. Um, and, you know, I think the dictation tool up here is really, really helpful as well. I use it a lot, especially for journaling. I think it's great for journaling because that kind of stream of consciousness comes out. I don't have to worry about spelling. I don't have to worry about all those things. It takes care of it for me. Anyway, dictation and page size for printing is a great thing. And it's just one of the many reasons that I love OneNote so much. If you are new here, uh, please think about hitting that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you've learned anything new, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up below. It really does help my channel. And until next time, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Always have, always will. <laughs> Until next time. Okay. Bye.